In the mid-1900s, management theories changed as researchers focused on the workers. These theories were referred to as humanistic or behavioral because they considered the employees' attitudes, behaviors, and social needs. The human relation movement was tested extensively in the Hawthorne plant of Western Electric, where worker productivity was tested over a variety of changing conditions, including lighting changes, pay incentives, and group pay incentives. Researchers found that workers developed their own unspoken system of performance. They set a productivity level, and workers who produced less or more were looked at unfavorably. This was strong support for the power of group norms. Another theory that emerged was known as Theory X and Y. Theory X managers assume people don't like to work, so they need to be forced to work through threats and punishment. Theory Y managers assume that employees do like to work, and they reward employees by giving them more power and responsibility within the organization. Managers enable employees to work to their highest potential. The humanistic movement kicked off the management research trend to focus on the employees' attitudes, behaviors, and social needs, and set the stage for modern-day management practices and research.